You know that you and only you can change your life, it is time to make your dreams a reality, we are going to help you now. Here, you are going to learn how to have a decent conversation with people around you, in your working place, and get your new job. In this video, you will learn little by little these new things. Don't need to rush yourself. Now let's see. To boldly go, where you have never gone before. Everything you should know about working from home staying productive while working remotely. While working from home has its perks, it can be distracting. Errands, chores, family, housemates, TV, social media and pets can easily shift your attention. Here are some tips for eliminating distractions and boosting productivity while working from home. 1. Dress for success Looking the part is the first step in how to be productive at home. It can feel tempting to roll out of bed and saunter over to your laptop in your pajamas. If you're dressed for sleep, it can be much harder to get your brain in productivity mode. Try maintaining your regular morning routine as if you were going to the office to set boundaries between working and living at home. In place of your morning commute, you might try another activity to boost productivity, such as a walk, light workout or meditation. Then, get dressed and ready for your day and make a healthy breakfast. Dressing for the tasks ahead of you will make you feel more motivated, and is also a helpful practice in case of unexpected video meetings. 2. Set and follow a schedule It is important to set your working hours apart from your personal home time. For transparency, tell your manager when your working hours are when working from home and indicate on your calendar when you are available. Here are a few tips on managing your daily schedule to optimize productivity. Start each day off by reviewing the tasks you need to get done to make progress towards your goals that day, and throughout the week, prioritize your tasks by understanding the time investment, complexity and impact of each provide key status updates to your manager and other team members, at an agreed upon cadence, take regularly scheduled breaks to stretch, get outside, and rest your brain health and productivity suffer. When we don't build in regular breaks for our brains and bodies, the brain is like any other muscle it needs to rest. These breaks can take any form, including meditating, reading a chapter of a book, listening to a podcast, doing a short yoga video, taking a walk. Tell us what you think. We want to read what you have in mind. This way, we can adjust our videos to put some light on your doubts. And now, let's go back to our video. 3. Create a workspace if possible. It is best to set aside a separate space in your home for work. This will help you separate your home and work activities and boost productivity when you're working in your designated space. Communicate with your friends and roommates that even though you are at home, you are off limits during your scheduled work hours. Video technology is also an incredible tool to leverage when working remotely. It helps us to stay connected even when we are very far apart. To optimize your video meetings, you should test out your computer microphone, speakers and camera before important meetings. To make sure they work be conscious of your physical background when in meetings, change to something more professional when needed. Use your video camera. Whenever possible keeping your camera on can improve understanding and communication for. Pay attention to burnout the fusion of workspace and home space can lead to a lack of boundaries and breaks. Align with your manager and team on expected work outcomes, so you are focusing less on how much you work and more on what you achieve. If you still feel overworked, create work start and stop rituals, forced movement moments, such as walking the dog, scheduled stretches, and gamified breaks. For example, try the Pomodoro method by focusing for 25 minutes, then taking a mandatory 5-minute break. Here are some additional ways to create boundaries around work and home time. Shut down your computer at the end of day, avoid opening your email or online chat. After you've decided to sign off identify, an activity that starts around the time you need to disconnect such as a workout class, errand or appointment with a friend. Don't insist on living in your golden cage any longer and get out from it. Come on, start moving. Take your destiny into your hands and inform yourself to make wise decisions which will lead your life to the place you want it to be. Don't need to rush yourself but do not waste your valuable time. Communicating with remote teammates when working from home, in-person communications are limited. That means you're not as able to rely on building rapport through small talk. 
body language and facial expressions to maintain healthy communications with colleagues while working remote. Here are a few things to keep in mind. 1. Schedule daily or weekly stand-ups for software teams. A stand-up is a daily meeting that involves the core team, highlights progress, and helps flag blockers. In the standard format of a stand-up, each team member comes prepared to answer these questions. What did I work on yesterday? What am I working on today? What issues are blocking me? The daily reinforcement of sharing individual successes and plans keeps everyone excited about the team's overall contribution to the organization. 2. Make online chat your main office Many companies and teams use online chat to stay connected both personally and on work-related topics. You might consider creating light-hearted channels where people can share updates about non-work-related subjects such as cooking, exercise or pets. You should also use chat regularly to communicate as frequently as possible around key goals and progress towards them. 3. Combat miscommunication Communicating at a distance can lead to miscommunication and misunderstandings. This is partly because the rich texture of face-to-face -face communication, including body language and facial expressions, tends to collapse in written format. If you notice back and forth messages or negative tone creeping in, use it as your cue to use phone or video. If you find yourself feeling offended or annoyed at someone's message, remember that we tend to perceive neutral written messages as negative. When in doubt, talk it out. Ask questions to understand your colleagues' intentions. Now, let's see some pronunciation. The vowels will make the sounds of the words resonate, and the consonants will put a stop or pause when you hold the air. This will make it possible for you to put your emotions and your intentions when you are talking. Therefore, you will control your conversations. 4. Keep the team spirit when working from home. It is more important than ever to create spaces to interact with your teammates beyond projects and status updates. Working remotely can bring feelings of loneliness that might catch some people off guard. Here are some ways to connect while working from home. Use online chat as your office water cooler and happy hour. Set up an optional lunchtime video chat to discuss fun topics, such as a book you all choose to read together, or your favorite homemade work from home meals virtual team building can help replace valuable in-person forms of communication that are missing from the remote office. You know that the only way to not be a lonely spectator of your history is to take your life into your hands and you, and only you can do this. Here you can see the things that matter for this purpose. Achieve your dreams and take the courage to get down in the rabbit hole to wake up in the other place that you've dreamed of. Managing a remote team leading remotely can present a certain set of unique challenges, especially if this is a new transition for you or your team. Planning, communication and expectation setting can help maintain contentness and productivity. Here are some tips for managing a remote team. 1. Communicate clear expectations Take a moment to plan. What do you need to achieve? By when and what changes might you need to make to your original quarterly plan and goals? Type it up so you can start discussing it with your team. You will avoid misunderstandings when you create a document that serves as a source of truth. You might also share the document with stakeholders and other teams you collaborate with. Schedule a team meeting to discuss discuss if there are any new expectations and what, if anything, has changed with working remotely. In your agenda, include goal responsibilities and ownership how often updates are expected and in what form, written, video chat, recording, stand-up, communication norms, which technology you want to use for each type of message, expected response time dark time, etc. Too. Cherish and protect your 1-1 one, one time 1-1s one, are a time to make sure you and each member of your team are working towards the same objectives, that the work that is being completed is the right work and most importantly, to check on the well-being and engagement of your team. Regular check-in stop larger issues from festering, allow for immediate and regular feedback, and promote open communication. Dedicated one-on-one -on -one time with your team members becomes even more critical and important when managing a team virtually. Try allocating between 30 minutes to one hour with each of your direct reports for a 1-1 one -one each week. Getting the most out of 1-1's one -one's many factors dictate the best way to structure your meetings for success, including the emotional needs of those you manage, your relationship, 
and the team member's experience level. The most important element in a successful one-one is creating a space where people feel comfortable discussing the issues and concerns on their minds. These meetings are primarily for the employee, and their participation is vital. Pro tip. Pre-populate a shared agenda. It will help you provide context prior to the meeting and also allows both parties to take ownership of the meeting. Timebox the topics you know you need to cover. With the constantly evolving media coverage of COVID-19 and this new way of working remotely for some, it is possible your team may be feeling overwhelmed or anxious. One of the responsibilities of a manager is to ensure your team feels supported and informed at all times. Start your 1-1 with an open-ended question. This allows the most important and top-of-mind topics to surface. Here are some questions you might try. How are you feeling? What is on your mind? Do you feel like you have clear priorities? Do you feel in the loop? Do you feel isolated from the rest of the team? What are you most excited about? What are you most worried about? How can I help you? Once you've fully heard their answers, be a facilitator of solutions. Uncover what they're excited about how you can mentor them to be successful, and unblock them to do their best work. 3. Provide feedback often if employees are more familiar with working in an office environment where they receive feedback daily. The silence in a remote position could cause uncertainty or confusion. It's easy to assume the worst about your work when you don't hear otherwise. Regular feedback lets employees know where they stand, gets everyone on the same page, and reduces the chance of a surprise and disagreements during a more formal review. 4. Share relevant information in a prompt, inclusive and organized way. Keep employees informed by sharing information broadly to all team members in a timely manner. Your leadership is necessary for sharing relevant information that you need to trickle down to your team. Take time to understand what's being communicated, why and what is being asked from your team. Now that you have all of these, go to practice and create your own conversation. Go in the description to find our link and go deeper into your study to achieve your dreams. Thank you very much for watching this video and be in touch with us. Keep up there and write your story. I'll see you at the next one. Take care. Bye for now.